I already saw Wom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechak, Badash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well. Salutation, much love to you. I came out there pushing out this word, truth to Siri. It's like, and this is the brother from Great Millstone, Tampa. And I just want to do a quick video on these uh, articles I came across, you know, uh, correlating with the Mark of the Beast. Which is the RFID microchip, all right? And uh, it's gonna be a quick one. You just want to bring out these articles. Well, you know what? Let's hit the scripture first uh, to to make it very clear. If you don't know, now you know, all right? Let's get to the point. This is Revelation 13 and 16. It says, "And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads." And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. So, it's telling you that there's going to be something that allows you to buy and sell. Ultimately, boiling down to the common denominator, all right, getting to the root of the problem, or getting to the root, is the buying and selling. Even though Esau, Edom, we understand and we're seeing how he's going to try to... Um, Unravel it in a different sense so people don't come up against it, you know, because a lot of people know about the market of beasts and what the scriptures say about buying and selling. So, what he's going to do is going to bring it out in convenience, but at the same time, behind closed doors and, and, and <clears throat> really in your face as well, <laughs> you know, this man's a you know, he, he does it behind closed doors and in your face at the same time. Well, you see what he's doing, but nonetheless, as this world scenario continues to go on, which you should know what I mean. All right, the 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 C, uh, uh, the C, the 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 Charlie one nine. Okay, you see what's leading up, or, or what's coming from this. They're telling people where they can and can't go, what they can and can't do. Okay, you you can't work, you can't attend this, you can't do that. In Germany, he's even and now they're making these passports. Okay, to identify who has the thing or who hasn't received the thing which ultimately is going to be digital they call it a digital passport okay digital ids digital this digital that digital money cbdc's which that's what we're going to get into all right here it is on rt uh article on rt came out uh august 5th earlier this month it says u.s regulators want the crypto out of cryptocurrency crypto meaning hidden okay currency you, you know currency is currency all right, the money, the, uh, the 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 method of exchanging, uh, um, the 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 monetary fund, so to say, it says because that will help them use it to control your every move. And what does the scripture say about Esau Edom? That he wants to be as the Most High, right? Let's see, is it this one? Uh, yeah, Second Thessalonians two. In the verse 3 says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, which we did. We fell away from our heritage, our nationality, our uh, our power. And that no it's like and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, which is Esau Edom, which you know, you know, we're using this for Esau Edom, all right, because the son of perdition means to go into uh, 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 destruction, son of destruction, okay, and that's who's been being revealed. Verse four, well, this is talking about Esau, man. Point big period. Verse four, who who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the Most High, or that is worship, so that he as the Most High sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. So he wants to be seen as the Most High. So he wants to know your every move, your uh, uh your digital moves. So like you know, your 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 financial moves, how you feeling today. You know everything about you. He wants to. He wants to be, all right, in charge of o o overseeing that, which that's what the Most High does. And also, he wants to be worshipped, which you go into the who's the what 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 does the scripture say in Revelation about the beast? You worship the beast, his image, and receive his mark. So ultimately, the this nigga wants to be worshipped like as 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 if he was the Most High. And his ultimate step. Toward, to leading towards that is implementing, uh, 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 um, uh, not implementing, um, implanting 
a RFID microchip in you, which will tell him everything he needs to know 24 7 around the clock, virtually, digitally. Okay, so again, it says because that will help them use it to control your every move. So, we're just gonna uh, read a little bit of this, and uh, I'm well, matter of fact. Let me just read a little bit, and then I'll, I'll, there's a video in here I'm going to play. It says, the U.S. Secretaries and Exchange Commission has demanded more authority over trading, lending, and selling cryptocurrency. Unable in its jealous rage to gasp that crypto exists because it's a safe haven from a venial, venial bank system. See, SEC Chair Gre Gary Gensler cited investor protection as the reason the commission should have the carte blanche to take the crypto out of cryptocurrency in a speech to f to fellow finance bigwigs on tuesday describing the sector as like the wild west as he urged congress to to rein it in right because ultimately that's why you got the cbd's cbd cbdc's being set up crypto uh central bank digital currencies being set up because the, uh, they want to take away the crypto from it they want to know what you're doing because right now you have all these cryptocurrencies, currencies bitcoin uh dogecoin ethereum so on and so forth that you can make exchanges and you can buy and sell at, at, at your will and none of it's uh um to say uh none of it's being traced back to you okay because there's many blockchains uh there's many avenues that that has to go to okay like let's say you buy twenty thousand dollars worth of bitcoin you don't get that instantly okay or if you're or if you're trying to uh, uh transfer it it doesn't just happen automatically because it has to go through all these uh, uh stops to make it anonymous okay uh but which i forgot the term i think it's block not blockchains uh well yeah i guess it's blockchains but nonetheless um the 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 central banks all right the government is not being able to tax it all right um or monitor it so what are they doing they've been allowing you to make money off these cryptocurrencies that these uh um uh, uh, um what do they call it? uh uh cryptocurrencies um there's another term for it it's escaping my mind right now uh uh not blockchains uh cryptocurrencies whatever you, you people have been getting rich off of these you see as of right now bitcoin is like a sixty-four thousand which is the all-time high so they've allowed you to get rich off of this just so they can make you think that this is the way of the future and now here comes uncle sam big brother that keeps an eye on you telling you that he's about to set up his own digital currency and and then you have certain places around the world that are making certain transactions of cryptocurrencies illegal so that what ultimately you have to go to their central bank uh, cryptocurrencies or digital currencies all right like uh, china being one of them have has uh made uh trades with uh bitcoin illegal as well as uh uh england or the uk has uh blocked uh one of the major trading um trading uh websites or whatever trading companies for the cryptocurrencies they they have banned it as well so let's go on and read. It says, uh, let me read, let me go down. Um, it says, cryptocurrencies throw a wrench into the machine by allowing Americans to stash their assets outside the rigged financial system in a way that's more prof uh, portable than gold or other traditional hedges. And the old system has nothing to offer the customer to lure them back. Clearly, crypto's got to go. So there you go. So what america is going to do away with what you're doing all these countries are doing it all right they're they're uh, uh, um going away from mon uh, uh tangible goods uh t tangible currencies to uh digital currency it says after all it's not like the u.s central bank or its financial regulators like the sec have done a great or even satisfactory job when it comes to running a functional system all right, because here it is, you know, as you see here, the U.S. is upwards of 28 trillion in debt, which is really 200, up and up, upwards of two, uh, 200 trillion. Okay, pointing the finger at Bitcoin, as it, as if it is the source of all its instability, which no, that's bullshit. You know, obviously it's, that's not the reason. 
um, America is going down the shitter and it's digital and digital's overtaken. It's because this is the next move for the elite. So here we go. We're going to watch this real quick and then I'm going to go to the next article. Support our analysis on CBDC in particular for the use of general to the general use. Uh, we tend to establish the equivalent of cash. Uh, and there is a huge difference there. Uh, for example, in cash, uh, we don't know, for example, who is using a $100 bill today. We don't know who is using a 1,000 peso bill today. Right. So that's another reason why they want to move everything digitally because everything has to be di digitally logged. All right. Which <clears throat> you go into the buying and selling of Revelation 13. I mean, this is clear and evident. This is they're setting up a digital currency, which what do you need to to buy or sell anything? You need money. You need some sort of currency. Well, guess what? All the currencies around the world are moving digitally. So you have to ask yourself, how are you going to use this digital money? Will you continue to use it on your phone with the Apple Pay and the Samsung Pay? Will you continue to use uh, a debit and credit cards? That's what you have to ask yourself. How is this digital currency going to affect and change the world? How will it be used? Well, I got an article to prove it. What's going to be used? And we've been telling you through the spirit and power, how about Shemir Shah, beginning with the apostles and elders on down, that the RFID microchip would be the the, uh, the mark of the beast, which specifically in the book of Revelation points out is buying and selling, even though we're going to see it be used on, 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 on far more applications such as medical, okay, um, convenience, all these things that are going to come with it. But the main purpose is the buying and selling, which the scriptures specifically point out. Let's go. Uh, a key difference in, with the CBDC is that central bank will have absolute control on the rules and regulations that will determine the use of that uh, expression of central bank liability. And also we will have the technology to enforce. So the BIS, Bank of International Settlements, is telling you that they're going to want to monitor everything. They're going to know. They're going to know who spent a hundred, who didn't spend a hundred, how much you, you're holding, how much you spent. Everything about your money and your life is going to be around, uh, uh, arranged around this RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. To enforce that, those are two issues are absolute control on the rules and regulations that will determine the use of that uh, expression of central bank liability and also we will have the technology to enforce that those are those two issues are extremely important and that and that makes a huge difference with respect to what uh, to what cash is uh, yeah, because what cash is, is non-existent anymore, okay? It's going to be digital. There's no such thing as cash, paper cash anymore. Well, that's what they're moving towards, okay? Which it says here, um, it says uh, right here, follow with me, it says, but a CBDC cryptocurrency uh, minus the crypto would nearly, neatly solve many of the ruling class biggest problems with the current financial system from the existence of cash and thus privacy to the in inability to exclude certain act act actors from the system so how are you got to ask yourself how are they going to use this digital money well the proof is in the pudding let's let it speak for itself this is an article written in october 13th so um uh, what uh yeah i was listening to 50 cent chill October 20, so seven days ago. This is uh, the first news.com. It says, I must have inspired by Joseph Conrad. Okay. But the article, the name of the article is Payment Technology Implanted in Your Hand Becomes First That Can Be Used Worldwide. And now we've seen this year after year. Okay. We've showed you videos of people in Sweden, people here, people there in Wisconsin using these chips to buy and sell things all right the vending machines unlock doors this and that but now lo and behold they have and this is going back to april 14th so like that's when it was okay this is when i seen this this must have been one i don't know what i don't know but nonetheless um this was this year all right so and they now they have perfected it and made it global 
and as I'm gonna go into this article, before you would have to have the Venmo, all right, which you, Venmo is like Zelle or Cash Apps, where you can uh, transfer funds digitally. Well, now they have uh, uh, established it in this uh, implantable technology to, to help you make payments, which again, we only need one scripture, really. Revelation 13. Verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. So let's take a look at this, and this and this will be it. Uh, again, payment technology, buying and selling, right? And planted in your hand, and they they made it all caps. Because first, they can be used worldwide. So uh, the reason I mentioned the Venmo and all that is because that's what's been being used with these RFID chips. But now they have come up with a system which they been had this that it can be used globally it says a, a, a Lublin man's firm has come up with the world's first payment implant that can use can be used globally using biopolymers and the same short range NFC near field communication which is the same thing as RFID technology as contactless payment which the whole world is set up for contactless payments any store you're going to is going to be uh, contactless available okay it's gonna it it's gonna have the uh, uh availability of you paying contactless all right it says technology has contactless payment cards the implant from polish british startup wallet more it can be sewn into the hand and used to make payments at all contactless terminals around the world that accept payments with standard cards from organizations such as mastercard or visa and that's why a couple of months ago you seen that visa and mastercard were hopping on this uh, uh digital currency or allowing the transactions through these digital currencies. Okay, Google it if you don't know what I'm talking about. Do your research. Say CEO Watch Watch Tech Paprota told TFN so far no one has manufactured such an implant that is accepted worldwide. There you go, the RFID microchip, the Karagma. This chip needs to be implanted implanted by a specialist so there's no way of taking it out if it needs to be implanted by a specialist then how the hell do you expect to take it out right before the missiles drop you're an idiot the rfid and nfc implants have been available on the market since 2013 but none of them has had the contactless payment feature which that's bullshit because we we've been seeing it of people buying and selling things but it's going to get into it well let me just read it. it says however you can find videos on the internet that show the payments being processed with the implants but it is a transaction done with the internal venmo system where both customers and merchant have the account on venmo there you go so now they have grown past that stage you don't need to have venmo no more now it's going to be on your credit card or your visa your mastercard your bank it's going to be did it's going to be tied to your bank hence the cbdc your central bank digital uh central bank digital currencies you no longer need the the you no longer need venmo you no longer need bitcoin you no longer need these digital blockchains or the digital currencies because all the central banks are coming up with their own and now there's a technology to use it worldwide in wallet more we are talking about real payments and the commercially available implants not custom made working with an iCard account which i, I uploaded a video talking about the digital uh, uh, um ids digital driver's license and these digital passports as well that's going on working with an iCard which I usually stands for intelligent account addressed through the app and licensed by the electronic money institution and supervised by the EU, which is what the beast part of the beast EU and NATO. Okay. Once the account. So what are we saying? It said the beast is going to make you take this mark. Wait a minute. Here we go. Come on, man. This is like, if you can't understand it by now, EU is part of the beast. America's part of the beast. NATO is the part of the beast. Con uh, uh, collectively, they are the beast. America's the whore that rides upon the beast. So here it is. They're setting up a way to. Uh, they're setting. They're setting something up to implant into you, to make payments, and at the same time, they're making digital currency. Come on. It says once account is topped up, users find a specialist to implant the chip with wall wallet more, providing the list of approved specialists, which include over 40 options across 11 countries. 
The company is now in dialogue with large industry players who are keen to see how demand develops for the implants. Well, it's not going to be a choice very soon. He calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and buying. Okay? See, this is where they lack understanding of what's going on in the world. So, you know, whoever this wrote this article, whoop de whoop this is for their edification at the end of the day. This is like many of the payment in innovations over the last 10 years, the move away from coins and notes is gathering pace. Paprota told TFN today the only feature of wallet more payment implants is contactless payments. We are tirelessly, tirelessly working on upgrading it with other features such as opening doors, using it as authorization tokens or ID badges. The proof is in the pudding. Read it and weep. If you don't know what the karagma is, you don't know what the market of beast is, you're going to be destroyed because you're going to end up taking it. Wake up and smell the fresh air. This thing is happening. Basically, look at this devil. Fucking devil. Basically, every NFC feature can be installed on the implant, but we are still developing the whole ecosystem together, all those things. Which the Lord's going to stop them. The Lord's got to bring this to an end, man. Because this nigga would destroy everybody and chip everything from humans. All right, people, places, and things. The uh, 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 Esau would pl uh, implant everything from tires to the grass to the to, to, to the people, man. Okay, it says currently the iCard account is only available in European countries, but the company is working on opening up in new markets and could be available around the globe within the next two years, which is seeming that it's going to come quick. Uh, Paprota continued, Gualitmore is the company that redefines what being human really is. Today, the pen size implant is a validated replacement of the bulky wallet, but it's only the first step. Come on, man. You can't buy and sell. This is clear and evident, and they just show you what the, the picture of the implant is, man. Come on. Be real. Great meals don't have it right the whole time. All right. Ultimately, our implants will merge your physical and digital identity, and it is closer than you think. That's the title of the video right there. Kala, y'all, but you my shot. Mawath, love, ball. Shalom. Lord's will. This is edifying.